from this year, um, I think more cask strength than what I've seen before. Uh, but the quality has been really high, I have to say, so it's been a, a pleasure to be involved. One thing we've actually really found is that the, the, the quality has, has very, very much been very surprising. I think Irish whisky has been, been a very, very great eye-opener in, in terms of the, the quality being made at the moment. For me, the big spirits trend across all spirits is a key look at terroir, where the spirits are produced. And that could be a whisky made in Taiwan or in Bulgaria. It could be a, a, a grape brandy produced in Hungary or France, or it could be a gin made in America or Australia. Everybody is trying to get a little bit of the personality of where it is made into their drink. And I think that's a great thing. Well, we see a rise this week uh, in, in Irish whisky. Irish whisky seems to be still on the up. Other, other trends I can see is that um, rum is still very high and, and gin hasn't lost its momentum yet. So uh, we got three very strong spirits, spirit categories for the moment. I think uh, the, the quality overall is rising, which is a good thing. Um, it means we're learning from each other, which is great collaboration. Um, I think the approachable blends are coming through more, ones that are accessible, quite soft in flavour and aroma, uh, and that's something that I fully appreciate from a consumer perspective as well.